biggest key in driving the net is to gain shoulder space. What I mean by that is as I'm driving in on, a, on an opponent or a defenseman, I'm trying to get my shoulder slightly in front of the opponent's shoulder. I can protect the puck with the body, keeping the puck off to the side. Once you've gained the shoulder space, lean in so you can drive into the net and then go for the shot. If you do not gain the shoulder space, if the shoulders are just shoulder to shoulder or the opponent slightly gets his shoulder in front of yours, as you try to drive the net, you'll actually get pushed out and you won't be able to win the front of the net. The key is to get your shoulder slightly in front. Another variation is to protect the puck with the glove. So if I move the puck again wide to the side, I put the glove down, I still have to get my shoulder in front of his and then lean in, taking a backhand shot on the backhand side or if you're on your forehand side for a right-hander, you can shoot with one hand. Protecting the puck with one hand, with the puck out on the forehand side, drive in, shoot the puck with one hand. Another exercise that can be done to work on the pull-in move and the under-the-stick fake is to do this with, a, with another opponent, a player, a partner, standing still and swinging their stick side to side. While they're swinging their stick, you practice making a pull-in or an under-the-stick fake. Here we're going to look at a section on protecting the puck, puck protection. The first series of exercises involve body protection and we teach the player how to protect the puck by keeping their butt to the opponent or their back to the opponent. We start by placing the puck on the circle. You don't even need the puck, we could just protect the circle. But the, we tell the opponent, we, we tell the offensive player to keep their butt or their back facing the opponent and we're going to use two skating techniques. If the opponent were to come around the side, the offensive player would spread out into a wide base in a spread eagle position and protect that puck. If, it, if they went there again, they'd come all the way around. If they did real hard cut, they'd go all the way back to the side. Always trying to just keep their back or their butt facing the opponent. So here we are, the first exercise is no competition teaching the offensive player how to move. So if the defensive player comes around to the side, we want the offensive player to bring their back and their butt facing and push away. If they come around again to the same side, then again, bring your butt and your back and push away, protect that puck. If they come back the other way, we again slide, trying to get there right away, trying to even move with the opponent. As the opponent moves, the offensive player moves. 
If they make a hard cut and go halfway around, then the offensive player tries to open up and stop when the defensive player stops. If he goes hard back the other way, again, you're trying to keep your, your butt facing the opponent. The next series of exercises, or, or the next exercise in our series here, would be to do a light competition. So we get the player moving either side on their own, back and forth, while the offensive player tries to stop them from getting to the puck. And it would look something like this. So as he cuts around, the offensive player is trying to get there. If he moves, it's back and forth. Now, you can see what I'm doing here is that as I'm doing this, I started to look over my left shoulder and then my right shoulder. This is a weakness. If the player is behind me and I lose track of him and I look over this shoulder and then I look, I can get beat. I can't keep switching. So, so again, if I look this way and then I go to look this way, he can sneak around to the other side and take the puck. You can't get caught switching your head. What you do is you look just over your strong shoulder. So my strong shoulder for a left-hander is my left shoulder. I always kind of want to have my butt or my back facing the opponent, but I want to have this side here free so that I'm always looking. If he comes this way, I'm here and I can lift his stick. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually standing a little bit sideways. If he goes the other way, it's easy for me to just stick my butt out here and stop him from moving that way. If he comes back, again, I got my stick out here. So I'm always looking for a left-hander over the left shoulder. Very key point here. If you're a right-hander, you'd always look over your right shoulder. Then we can go to heavy competition, where the player's really trying to get around the puck, and uh, we'll show you what this looks like. Our next exercise in the progression on protecting the puck with our body is to play inside the circle. And our key point here is we don't want the player to turn and face the opponent. We want them to always keep their back or their butt facing the opponent. And uh, if they get outside the circle, start back over, start again. So it'll look like this. Two lines of players on each side. The puck is shot into the circle. First player to get there protects the puck. And if it goes to the other player. Go. Next two, get ready. You're done. Next two, go. Next two, go. Next two, go. Next two, go. Good, next two, go. Here we're taking a look at puck protection against the wall. Here we're gonna take a look at how Brandon uses his arms to brace himself. He pushes out, sticking his hips and butt out and using his feet for footwork as the player's pushing on him so he can't get checked from behind 
he's working side to side. And it would look like this. I'd like to make further comment on uh, protecting the puck along the boards here. Commonly, players will get both hands up here and push like this. And uh, some weaknesses are it, it's a little dangerous and, on breaking your wrist. But the most important thing is, is that with both hands way up here, it limits you from bringing the stick back down to the puck. So what I'm supposed to do is I'm, I'm supposed to push off the wall and uh, as the opponent to, were to reach in and get a stick, I'd like to bring my stick down and, and then try to fight with the puck. As he pushes me, my hands come back up. So what we're trying to say is that the player should do this with their stick at an angle on the glass here. So now I'm pushing away and I'm fighting. If, uh, if he brings his stick in, then my stick comes in and then my hands come back up on the wall. So the stick at an angle when you're protecting the puck along the boards. This drill here focuses on puck protection using a European spread eagle position. Would look something like this. Our next exercise on body protection is to hold the puck off to the side of the body protecting your protecting the puck with your body um, as you're skating in a half circle so as he as I'm coming at him he pulls the puck to the side pulls the puck to the side now we're going to take a look at glove protection while moving down the ice just like body protection we're skating in a half circle and as the opponent comes at you from the side, you're sticking the glove out, protecting the puck with the glove. I want to hit you just shoulder to shoulder. So when I come in right here, I'm going to pull the puck back. I want to shoulder to shoulder right here, right? Here we go. Here we're taking a look at uh, hook release. So if you're going down the ice and the opponent is hooking or pulling on your glove in your arm, he's pulling, you can release, grab back on. Release, if it's a little more competitive here, he's pulling really hard, right? I could lose a puck. I, I release, 